Hi guys, it's me again. So my next review is using Sling Player. All right, using my iPad, and this is the new iPad. We call it iPad 3. Um, Sling Player. Make sure your Sling Box are all set up before you even install this app. All right. You you have like different kinds of sling box. So you, uh, depending on uh, what kind of um, TV or cable you have, um, it depends. Like if you want a high def, you know, then you 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 buy a box that is um, uh, compatible to that. Right. So today I'm just gonna show you how cool this app is, and it's so worth the money. All right. First things first, after you set up the, the box um, and hooked up in your TV, I mean, I'm just going to show you how it looks like, how it's set up. And I'm going to have a flashlight here so that you'll see how it looks like. So this is my sling box. Alright? And this is the, I believe this is the Pro HD, um, but you, for you to have this um, set up, you have to make sure that you have um, uh, a high def uh, cable. All right, so I'm going to show you how cool this app is. So, so after installing Slim Player, um, you need to make sure you set up everything settings with regards to your um, Wi Fi. Um, type in your password and then choose what kind of sling box you have. Right now, I'm using my, my Bluetooth speaker. If, if you check my other reviews, I just recently reviewed this um, speaker. It's called the Blue, Blue Coat. Anyway. And the courier hands me this document, and I open it up, and it's a This is how it looks like, guys. So, this is the sling player. The cable that I have is direct TV. So, let's say you want to change. Um, you have all these settings here. It's basically like a remote, you know, um, remote for your TV. But I'm going to show you another type of remote, and it's just going to blow your mind. It, this is like the recent update that they have. Um, so, you have, like... Rewind and then skip, you know, in a few seconds, maybe the play button, pause, forward like one one frame, I think, and then this the fast forward. And if you click on, if you keep on clicking this, it, it, um, I think there's like four levels of speed to fast forward it, all right. And then here you can choose the quality of your video, um depending on how how fast your connection is because if, if let's say your your internet connection is like slow I would recommend to just use the SQ which is the standard quality um, but I actually prefer the HQ if you click on this you have an option to make it like auto in a high quality or SQ so if you don't know how fast your um, internet connection is then you can just choose auto right Mine is always HQ. Right. Again, to, to get into the uh, menu, you just click on the screen. Right. So you have this um, favorite, like let's say um, you have like favorite channels. You can just um, easily navigate to it. So these are my favorite channels right now. Okay. Back. And then aspect is, this is like um, how your screen is going to look like. Like if you want it auto detect, which I prefer to use, standard, and then litter box and stretch. So this is like, it's kind of like watching your TV, only you're using your iPad. Right? Now devices. Alright. This is when you um, configure your um, box. All right, mine is on S Video and via DirecTV satellite. All right, back and then 
disconnect, and this will disconnect your um, connection to your um, sling player. Remember, when you play and pause, um, if you go to your TV, it's doing the exact same thing, all right? So now I'm going to show you the remote control. This is like a recent update that they did, all right? If you look at it, it's exactly like your direct TV remote control. I mean, seriously, how cool is that, right? Oops. So let's say you want to make it smaller. Show you here. See? If you want it bigger, get bigger like this. Right? Pretty cool. I mean, seriously, it's the exact same remote control that you use for your um, cable. Right? Let me show you this. Um, let's say you want to check your list of recorded videos. Oops, sorry. Well, that one is recording. So now it's recording it. I don't want it to record. Okay, so let's say you want to remove, um, like not record it. Cancel this episode so you click on the... And then if you look at it, it's going down. Go down. Another one. Alright. Isn't that cool? And then you click on the select. And then it will just cancel this episode. And then you have the option to keep it, delete it. I want to delete it because I click on it by accident. There you go. Delete it. Alright, now it went away, right? Again, it's the exact options that you have in your remote control. So what I really wanted to do is click on, um, show you the list. Can I click on it? You hear the click, click. You have the uh, option to remove the clicking sound or, or not. Or keep it, whatever. All right, so here are all my recorded shows, right? So you have the option to really, really um, uh, control your TV from anywhere. I mean, seriously guys anywhere I mean even if you're outside the country because this is like run via the internet I mean seriously how cool is that you know and um yeah it's it's $29.99 but who cares right um you only pay it one time one time see another thing that you can do is let's say you want to change the display view you do just double tap the screen Whoa. Doing it. Oh. Just stay off the this is the stretch mode. This the. I mean, you see the difference here. If it's like not stretched out, the the resolution is far better. See, it's stretched out. There you go. What else? What else? Um, hmm. In terms of the volume, you can just do this. Slide the bar. <laughs> Cool, right? And now let's pause it. So now it's doing this. Right. So you want to play it again. Okay, remember this is live TV. Right? So you want to skip, skip it. You will skip one frame. There you go. So now, you see this um, button here? This is like option four. So, these are all the options for airplay. So, right now, we're on... Um, the volume is coming out of my cool speaker, which is the blue coat. Again, um, it's going to be in my um, other reviews, so check it out. And then you have the option to, when you click on Apple TV, this, whatever you're watching, it will come out using your Apple TV. Um, it's pretty darn cool, so guys, um, check it out. Um, again, it's called Slim Player. So right now I'm gonna take you to the um, um, how to like where where to find it basically. It's in the App Store. So now if you wanna exit out, I don't really disconnect. Like um, I just click on the this button here. 
the home button um, to get out of it. Um, I don't really uh, disconnect to it because let's say you want to um, use your iPhone. Oh yeah, uh, um, that will be my next review. Um, but um, if let's say you want to use another device for um, playing your sling player, it'll just say that oh it's your log. Uh, somebody's already logged in. Uh, do you want to exit out and just say yes? You know, and and for my next review, I'll show you the iPhone version of it. But um, let's go to the App Store and look for it. Um, all you need to do is type. Bear with me, guys. I'm not using a, a tripod, so uh, it moves a lot. I mean, all right, here. Okay, see. That is a sling player for iPad. Um, I believe it's twenty nine ninety nine. Um, again, it's it's money worth spending. So please install it. I mean, I love it. Um, it it does take a lot of um, uh, juice, um, battery. Um, uh, I I. I you know, I tried using it, um, using um, the 4G. Um, not bad, actually. Um, it really de depends on um, uh, your internet connection, like how fast it is. But so far for me, it's been great, uh, whether Wi-Fi or 4G. So again, uh, that's it for my review for um, the Spl Slink Pay. Blah, blah, blah. Sling player for iPad. Um, I hope you learned something today. All right. Uh, don't forget to um, subscribe to my uh, videos. Till next time. Bye.